बी ए सिक्स सेमिस्टार इकनमिक्स मेजर आंडार गुवाहाटी इूनिभार्सिटी पेपर सिक्स पॉइंट वान पब्लिक इकनमिक्स बुक आई एम गोयिंग टू फलो मानी बेकिंग एंड पब्लिक फाइनेस आर आर पोल डेट टूवेंटीट एप्रिल टू थाउजेंड टूवेंटी टपिक एबसल्यूट एंड रिलेटिव टेक्सेबुल केपासिटी एबसल्यूट टेक्सेबुल केपासिटी रेफार्स टू दा मेक्सीम रेभिन्यू डेट केन वि रेज फ्रम दा होल कम्यूनिटी इन दा फर्म अफ टेक्सेस उदाउट एफेक्टिंग दा मिनिमाम कन्जामशन लेवल एकर्डिंग टू स्टाम्स डेफिनेशन द एक्जिस्टिंग स्टेडार्ड अफ लिविंग अफ द पीपल एकर्डिंग टू सीरास डेफिनेशन प्रडक्टिव केपासिटी एंड इफिशियसि इन इंडियन टेक्सेशन इनकुआर कमिशन डेफिनेशन देर आर टू एक्सट्रीम भिउज एबाउट एबसल्यूट टेक्सेबुल केपासिटी नम्बर ए द केपासिटी टू पे उदाउट साफारिंग एंड भि द केपासिटी टू पे रिगार्डलेस of suffering the taxable capacity in the first sense is practically nil because every tax whatever be its amount or yield does involve some suffering or sacrifice on the taxpayer in the second sense the taxable capacity will have no limits except that imposed by the total income of the community the concept of absolute taxable capacity assumes that the taxable capacity is fixed it doesn't take into consideration the effects of government expenditure that may increase during the period of taxation in fact there cannot be anything as constant or fixed taxable capacity because the taxable capacity keeps on changing from time to time under different conditions over the period of time instead of using the concept of absolute taxable capacity for deciding the extent of taxation it is more practical and feasible to consider relative taxable capacity for the purpose of collecting tax revenues from different sections of society what is relative taxable capacity in relative taxable capacity it may be compared the absolute taxable capacities of different tax payers or groups or even different countries relative taxable capacity can be defined as the ratio of the taxable capacity of one group of people to that of other group it means to the taxable capacity of one section of the people suppose rich section to pay taxes as compared with that of the other section that is poor section the taxable capacity of the rich is greater than that of the poor now we can explain dalton's view about absolute and relative taxable capacity while rightly observing that relative taxable capacity is a practically important concept Dalton considers the concept of absolute taxable capacity as useless. Dalton's view regarding the concept of relative taxable capacity is true, but his remarks that absolute taxable capacity is a might cannot be accepted. The correct position is that though it is difficult to define absolute taxable capacity is important in forming the government the limit for squeezeability while formulating taxable policy relative taxable capacity 
guides in determining the relative maximum share of each group or section of the community for contributing to the common public expenditure in the form of taxes the absolute taxable capacity will decide the maximum revenue to be collected from the community as a whole.